Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. This morning we are just getting the dogs food ready. We actually signed up for Harvest Host. We're pretty excited and we're gonna go to our first one today in Titusville. It's at the Space Museum and it's only 10 bucks each to get into the museum so that I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know if we're allowed to film but we're gonna try and we'll take some pictures. So that's what we're doing today. All right guys, we just rolled up to the American Space Museum. I wanna take a picture then when we get back. I got the bus over here for now. I didn't check in yet so I wanna see where they wanna have us. But There's no signs that say like, yeah. Anything. Or anything so we're gonna go check in let them know we're here i think you got to show your little id card and just make sure i'm at where they want me to be otherwise we'll have to move we are all checked in officially she came out checked us out where we were parked she said we are totally fine where we are so that's good i got the tv and the air conditioner on for cody and milo but what's really weird though is like what happens when an rv that's 30 feet or so comes in here they're gonna take up a good amount of spaces so it's just it's weird how there's no like rv spaces yeah so apparently this particular harvest host will host up to two rvs each night up to 35 feet now i don't know where you're gonna put 35 feet worth of rv you know like They'd if you unhook their truck. yeah and i mean it's not a lot of room so i don't know anyway we are going to check out the museum tomorrow in the morning when they open. They open at 10 a.m. So it's a little stuffy in there. Yeah, it's a little hot. They need to up the air conditioning a little bit. But anyway, we're going to drop the bike. Then we go take a tour around Titusville a little bit, check out the sites, go grab some food later on, and uh, you know, dig around Titusville, see what they really have to offer. All right, so we were driving by and we saw this park. It's a really nice park. I don't know if you space park or something like that. Yeah, I'll put the name up above. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Freedom Boat Club. I usually see them on my YouTube or on the uh, commercials all the time, but you can like rent boats out and take them out for the day or whatever. Anyway, this is where some of them are parked and you can rent a boat, you could take it out, have a good day fishing, hanging out, and then bring it back. They take care of all the maintenance and everything. I mean, it's a little pricey, but beats probably paying for all that boat maintenance. This is really nice. And the parking here is really nice too. They're nice and big. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll show you after, but all along here, there's big, long, grassy spots. Like, it looks like it's for like trailers or. or oh, yeah, probably for trailers. But it's really dark. nice. Like, we could totally park the bus there, hang out for the day, pop the canopy open, and there's nobody here. Yeah, it this is. This is a dead really dead. nice spot. Look at this. They have this uh, dock and they have the slips and everything. The I mean, rooms right there. Oh my god.
that girl. Alright, so after viewing the manatees, we decided to get some dinner. We've been to this place before and it's really good. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're doing right now. So we're gonna get some food and then I just gotta run to the store to get some drinks for us. Then we're gonna go see what the dogs are doing. Yeah, the place is called Victorio's. Yeah, right there. It's a nice little Italian place in the middle of nowhere. I think Mims. Yes, yeah, Mims. Yeah. The food is really good and the prices are good. Oh yeah, some pasta. Oh, chicken parm. <laughs> and Smith, I got... Big ziti's. You like it? Looks good? Yeah. Bam, and just like that, it's all gone. Where did it go, Samantha? In my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, just made it back to base camp, aka the Atlas Center over here at the American Space Museum. Ah, so dinner was really good. Uh, very fairly priced too. The food was good. I'm surprised. So, I'm surprised. We I don't know. Yeah, we ate there before. I, th I don't remember it being so great last time. This time we was went. Better. We went late, so they were probably all tired. Yeah. So we came back. I got the dogs running around outside. Cody. I'm getting tangled, of course. <laughs> what are you doing, Milo? What are you doing? What's that? Oh boy. You go on the grass. <laughs> all right. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're all I'm tangled. Sure I want to show them this stuff over there. Good boy. Good boy! Yay! Good job, Milo! Yay! Alright, whoop, okay. <laughs> so like I said, we came back to check on the dogs, walk them. Um, I'm gonna gas the generator up, make sure that's all good. And we're gonna head out. There's a Brewster's down the road. If you've never been to Brewster's, they have really good ice cream. So we're gonna get some Brewster's. We're just kind of enjoying being able to like have the bike, the bus somewhere, and being able to just take the bike out rather than trucking the bus everywhere. There's a couple of the little engines they have outside. I shouldn't say little, they look pretty big actually. The American Space Museum's LR91-3 engine. Nice. And we got a, a space shuttle, which I've never been on. Somebody needs to let me go on a space shuttle. Look at this thing. This looks super complex. This thing almost looks like a turbocharger. I can't wait to actually get in the museum tomorrow. They're supposed to have a lot of artifacts and stuff. They said they're a non-profit. Um, you know, they're all donations, stuff like that. And everything that gets uh, in the museum was donated at one time. So they don't buy anything. So, And she said she gets donations almost daily. So that's pretty cool. All right. We get the dogs back in the bus, and then we're going to hit the road. Ooh, we got some Brewsters, girl. What up? All right, so I got a vanilla shake. I don't know. Where am I sitting? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I got a vanilla shake. Throw it on the. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> so I got a vanilla shake. Sam got some crap. I got some watermelon ice. All right, looks pretty good. Did you try it yet? Yes, I did. Is it good? I like this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we're gonna chow down on this. Uh, I had to stop at Home Depot and grab something, and then we're and gonna. And the dogs did good. Yeah. So Milo peed on the pee pad, which is. Fine. That's why I put it down because yeah. he's a puppy and he, you know, doesn't want to rather go yet. on there than the floor. Yeah. And uh, Cody, Cody didn't kill him. <laughs> yeah, Cody didn't kill him. And and Cody, Cody didn't Cody pee in there at all. Cody deep down likes him. Like if you pick Milo up, Cody goes nuts. He loves him deep down. He doesn't like people, Milo. He gets a little weirded out, but you know, he loves all the dog stuff, which is good. I'm like Cody. <laughs> That is not how you feed somebody. You just throw this at you. <laughs> good morning, guys. So, we had a good night's sleep over here at this place. It's a little loud now because it's during the day, but at night, like around 9 or 10 o'clock, once you know everybody starts getting home and settled, it, it quiets down right here. We had no issues. There's also the fire department right here that I haven't heard any sirens or anything go off once. Um, the lady in, in the place over here said that as long as there's no traffic when they pull out, they don't usually put the siren on, I guess, so they don't disturb anybody, which is pretty nice and I appreciate it, but we haven't heard anything. But uh, today we're going to go take a quick tour of the museum, because I didn't get to do it yesterday. Yesterday we kind of just, you know, drove around. It was nice just being on the bike and having a safe place for the bus to sit. They gave us a whole bunch of pamphlets in this place for um, places all around here for restaurants and other activities to see and do as well and in that pamphlet uh, in the coupon book 
there's actually a coupon for this place for a dollar off admission. So if you guys come here and you want to take a look at the museum, just look through the book they give you, um, and then you can get in to the museum for a dollar cheaper per person. Just thought I'd throw it out there. <laughs> anyway, we're getting ready and then we're going to go jump in the museum. You guys ready? Alright guys, so right behind where we're parked, I saw this and I just had to share with you guys the beautiful world. It was painted in 2015 and it says it was painted by Keith Goodson. He did a really good job. And especially this being painted in 2015 and how well it held up and then how 3D it looked. He really did a good job. Not great!
Well, that was a really nice museum. The place isn't ginormous, but they have a ton of stuff, ton of different artifacts, paperwork, um, 3D models yeah, of but, scales. Uh, listen, I pay nine dollars for two people. I should be able to touch whatever the hell I want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you have like, I don't know, we have like an I issue. Have like, to, we need I have to, to touch things. Yeah, they wouldn't let. I understand, but it says like, please do not touch. But like, you want to touch what? everything. Let me touch the buttons. Yeah, they like so many buttons you want to flip and push, but you're not allowed to. Anyway, got this way cool magnet. Check this one out. So I got another magnet to add to the collection. I am gonna start packing the bike up, wrap the generator up. So we're gonna pack up here and head over to the water somewhere where I'll be left alone and I can- That way the dogs can hang outside. That way they're not in our way while we do this. Yeah, they've been kind of cooped up the whole time oh, we've been here. There he is. Milo. Here's Milo. You good boy? <clears throat> anyway guys, I'm gonna put an ending on this video so it doesn't get too, too long. But I hope you guys are all doing great. <clears throat> And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.